Hello, I'm here with another video. Uh, here I will select article to read and um, just uh, I think I find this article quite interesting. This article on mathematical model on Alzheimer's disease. This the article is published in this journal and let's read it. Alzheimer disease is a progressive neurodegenerative disease that destroys memory and cognitive skills and characterized by two types of neuropathological hallmarks, extracellular plaques consisting of amyloid B peptides and intracellular cellular neurofibrillary tang tangles of hyper phosphorylated tau proteins so that's interesting so that the paper develops a mathematical model of Alzheimer's disease that includes neurons, astrocytes, microglia, and peripheral macrophages as well as amyloid B aggregation and hyperphosphorylated tau proteins and uh, they use different uh, the model is represented by a system of partial differential equations so some of them are failed or currently used in clinical trials and as a conclusion uh, combined therapy with, with TNFA inhibitor and anti-amyloid beta could yield significant eff efficacy in slowing the progression of Alzheimer's disease it's interesting that uh, by only using mathematical models can we really reach that conclusion without using any without using any um, trial or patients and no need ethical permission for that I guess uh, so this is the introduction I guess background so they mention here I think inflammation uh, activated astrocytes produce but so they mention uh, immunological relation to uh, between uh, immunology and uh, Alzheimer's disease and emphasize that there's no drug yet currently the only treatment is um, the symptoms of the disease they cannot really stop it uh, figure figure one uh, shows the network associated with progression progression of Alzheimer disease and within a neuron which lets the from rose to the destruction of the microtubules and uh, figure 1b shows the network of activated cells microglia astrocyte and monocyte drive macrophages and their effect on neurons and their micro environment so this this is something some uh, some graph that is related to probably um, other psychiatric diseases as well because even, even related to schizophrenia so here's the network within within a neuron which lasts from rose to NFT and the destruction of microtubules so it ends up with uh, neuron, neuronal death and here uh, activated cells we see dead neurons here too and it seems quite interesting to see the complex relationship between between those uh, those elements and because I, I actually this this graph can tell more than the uh, many paragraphs just by looking at how they interact with each other um, so method the mo mathematical model 
The mathematical model is based on figure 1 and is represented by a system of partial differential equations. So I'm not really a mathematician, so I can only show the waste from there and all produce is given by here. Following equation. So, so they, they mentioned the rate of neurons die, thereby releasing their and hence they contribute to there and there is a growth rate as a variable too also assume that the rose increases oxidative stress increases primar primarily the A and beta that are within live, neuro live neurons and, and thus neglected the increase of uh, this I don't know how to pronounce and by uh, by oxidative stress. So and then they show with the equations. So if you are expert, you can know more about it, and you can also you can also download the article and because you can reach the full article by entering this link it's quite long article and it's the references so so it doesn't end up with the conclusion and the conclusion is always and we already read the conclusions actually so here based on these stimulation simulations we suggested that combined therapy with TNF A inhibitor and anti amyloid B beta could yield significant efficacy in slowing the progression of, progression of Alzheimer's disease so that is the conclusion and I hope you enjoyed the article I'm not really expert on this topic but I find this article quite interesting and I hope you know more about more on on this topic and you can understand it better and have a beautiful day bye bye